Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. You guys know what it is, man. It's Kibble, man. Okay, so, anyways, I want to get into this video real quick because I'm actually super interested about this one. So, this one, it was sent by one of you guys. You told me, yo, Kevo, you need to check this one out, man. It's the history of the Filipino flag. Like, how did the Filipino flag come around? Because someone actually told me that the Filipino flag, at one point, it looked like the American flag. At one point. And I actually told one of my friends that lives back in the Philippines about that. And they're like, no, I can't remember that. It's not in any history books. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do the video for you, for you guys today and for, for my friend to watch as well and check it out. All right. So anyways, before we get the video, make sure you guys give the video a big thumbs up right now, man. Thumbs up the video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, man. Make sure you guys turn that post notification bell on. And let's get into the video, man. Let's go. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Fun with Flags. Today, Fun with we're going to be taking a look at the flag Philippines. of the Philippines. Now, the Philippines have been populated for a long time. Very but, long. As we know, flags are something quite recent in the large picture of history. In ancient times, native population inhabited the Philippines, but they didn't have any flag. Really? The closest thing we can find to a flag would be the symbols through which they represented themselves or through which they were depicted by historians like this ancient painting or this ivory seal which seems to contain some symbols dating back to around 1002 found in Butuan. Butuan. But all of this changed in 1521 when Portuguese explorer Magellan arrived right. in the Philippines and claimed the islands for Spain. So technically, the first official flag of the Philippines would in fact be the Spanish colonial flag. Really? Which did any of you guys know that the Spanish flag was the first flag of the Philippines? Comment down below. Let me know right now if you guys knew that. If you guys didn't know that, also comment down below. Evolved a little throughout time. I have a video on the Spanish flag on my channel, so if you're interested, check that out. During Spanish occupation, there was also a British flag flying okay. over the Philippines. The flag of the East India Trading Company, which flew Almost like the American. The brief British occupation of Manila from 1762 to 1764. However, despite Spanish colonialism... Okay, so, so far, there's been three... There, no, two different flags up in the Philippines, the British and the Spanish, so far. So let's keep track of how many flags they got. That's three. That's two, sorry, my bad. There were still a few natives in control of some regions, at least for some periods of time. And there were also attempts of revolt. So, there Revolt. are a few examples of native flags in this time, like Let's the see. red pennant used by the Kingdom of Tondo, the Tondo. plain yellow flag of the Sultanate of Maguindanao, Maguindanao, the flag of the Silang Revolt, the Sulu Sultanate, the Basi Revolt, Six. and some provincial ensigns. Seven. Their second official flag Eight. was also a foreign one. After being ruled by the Spanish, the islands were ceded by Spain to the United States of America wow. because of their defeat in the Spanish-American War, which ended in 1898. 1898. So this is recent. This is like within a, like the last hundred years at least. In return, the U.S. paid a sum of $20 million to Spain. During this time, there was an attempt by locals to create a free Philippine Republic. And this movement counted with the support of many groups and factions inside the Philippines, which had their own flags, the majority of which were red with some white symbols in the center, okay. like the flag of the Magdalo Katipunan faction. So, so far, that is 11 different flags in the last, since the 1800s, I mean the 1500s. 11. Keep count. The flag of the Tagalog Twelve. Republic, Tagalog. the Sultanate of Sulu, which was still around and 13. occupied only a bit of territory in the Philippines, the Zamboanga Republic, wow. or the Zamboanga. flag of the Republic of Biak Nabato. This last one was the first official flag of the Philippine Republic and was used. So that was the first official pla flag, and that so far that is 15 different flags, man, until they found one. And I actually think that the sun is actually still on the flag today. The yellow sun, it's yellow now though. During the Philippine Revolution. But there was also the main independence flag, if you will. The flag of the first Philippine Republic, which resembles today's flag. It was it flown the first time in a skirmish against Spanish troops. The Filipino forces were led by General Aguinaldo, who had been in exile in Hong Kong and had brought this revolutionary flag with him to represent the independence movement. It contains a mythical sun with a face 
similar to the sun of May in other former Spanish colonies. Okay. The triangle of Freemasonry and the eight ranks representing the eight rebellious provinces against the Spanish. The three stars represent the three main islands. The oh, flag, oh, I did not know that. How many of you guys knew that the three stars represent the three main islands? I did not know that. You guys know that? Let me know in the comments. Carries the text in Spanish saying expeditionary forces of northern Luzon. And on the back, it says freedom, justice, and equality. But the problem here was that the U.S. weren't very happy with the idea of a free Philippines. So when they received the islands from the Spanish, they imposed direct administration all the way until 1919, using their own national flag. You see? Right there. I bet you guys did not know that the Philippines used the American flag. How many of you guys knew that? Because this surprised me when you guys told me, yo, yo Kevo, you know we had the American flag as our main flag? And like right now, we're learning some history about it to represent the islands. Finally, in 1919, the Philippines got their own official flag using the previous design by the General Emilio Aguinaldo, but General with Emilio a few changes. Aguinaldo. The tones of the red and blue were to match the ones on the American flag, and the sun's face was removed, and wow. the Spanish text was also not present. So I did not know that the colors on the Filipino flags Wait, when you look at it, are the same colors, except for the yellow. Almost the same colors as the American. Did you guys know that? Did you guys learn this in, in school? Did you? Did you? Let me know in the comments if you guys learned this in school or if it, you guys are just hearing this now. Or if this is even true, let me know in the comments. However, these specifications weren't made official. So a lot of variants of the flag flew all over the Philippines. In 1936, these specifications were finally codified. The shade of the colors, the fact that the white triangle should be equilateral and that the rays of the sun should be somewhat simplified. And this was the flag in use until the 1940s. Until the 1940s, then came really? World War II. During the war, the Philippines were put right in the center of the Pacific theater of war. Being a puppet or an ally, if you will, of the US, they were put in direct conflict with the Japanese and targeted by the empire in their expansion towards Southeast Asia. Wow. So, from 1942 to 1943, part of the Philippines flew the Japanese flag due to foreign occupation. What? The government in exile, however, continued to fly the Philippine national what? flag. What? Did you guys know that, that the Filipino flag, I mean, the Philippines used a Japanese flag in the 1943? I did not know that, man. Did you guys know? Let me know in the comments. In 1943, the Second Philippine Republic was inaugurated using that same flag. After the war, the U.S. granted the Philippines their independence. And throughout granted. the rest of the 20th century... You see, I don't like how they say that. They granted. So it's like, you're allowed to have your independence now because we're done with you. You see, that's the other thing about it. Like, like, some people understand why they don't like, like the Americans so much. Because right now, even now, the Americans think they own every single thing, man. If anything that goes on on this planet or Earth or whatever... America feels like they need to put a damn foot, a hand in it, or foot in it, or a say in it, or whatever, man. And that's the thing about it. They're like the international police, which I hate. Because in America, there's so much problems that they need to deal with, honestly. There is people on the streets. There's people starving and hungry. But yet, they don't want to deal with their own problems. They want to go figure out or help other people deal with their problems. Like, yeah, I understand you want to, you want to help. But at the same time, you got to like deal with your own stuff, like personal. Deal with your problems at home first before you want to go give someone else advice. And even right here, like we allow you to have your independence. I don't, I don't, I didn't, I don't like that. But whatever, man. Century, the country altered the flag a little, mostly in the colors department. Eventually, yeah. reverting back to the original colors of Aguinaldo's design, previous to American administration. Oh, so, okay. In Simple things like that. The current flag was made official and permanent, as permanent. the flag of the Republic of the Philippines. As for the meaning of the flag. According to the Proclamation of Independence, the white triangle signifies the emblem of the Katipunan, the secret society that opposed Spanish rule. Wow. The colors commemorate the flag of the United States as a manifestation of gratitude okay. for American aid against the Spanish during the Philippine Revolution. Yeah, they, they aided them, but then after they were colonized under the, the United States, so isn't like... Basically, they just went from having one dictation, well, rulership, whatever, Spain, to have another. Because then they had to work under the American 
don't know. It's just, it's just gonna, it's just, this thing is just kind of weird to me, okay? I think it's just like another person, like a ruler, took over from another person. That's all it is, like a con different conquerors. But this time it's the American. But whatever. The three stars represent the three main islands. Luzon, Luzon. Mindanao, and Panay. Also yep. Visayas. Visayas. And the sun represents the gigantic steps made by the sons of the country along the path of progress and civilization. While the eight rays represent the eight provinces which originally oh. rebelled against Spanish rule. Okay. But the sun is also likely to be the remain of the sun of May, which was somewhat influenced by Spanish rule or by ancient native populations. The origin of these symbols is also quite interesting. Although obviously up for debate, there is an official explanation on the Philippines government website. Which Look, there, yo, so I'm, I'm going to go back. My friend does not know about it, but if they, they have this on the Philippine website, then they should, this should be part of like the history. I would think they'll be teaching stuff like this in the Filipino history when you go to school. I don't know, maybe you just, my friend never, never like study this or let me know in the comments i really want to know if they do like teach us in school because i just for me i find it a little weird that they don't because in canada at least when we have history class and they told us that we were ruled under the english and we just canada's a new country like we're only 152 years old because we were ruled by the Eng by england for the longest while because we learned it all in school so i would think like stuff like this seems to be super important and it should be learned in school right right which states it was like this, having some influence from Southern America flags, from the US flag, masonry, and even some local port flags in the Philippines. There's also a theory for which I could find no real confirmation that the flag's design was originally inspired by that of the Cuban flag. The Cuban Recently, flag. an argument has been made by the province of Zambales that they were also part of the original revolt and therefore the sun on the flag should be modified to accommodate a ninth ray and the Quezon province has done the same. Another defender for the addition of a ninth ray are the Moro people, the Muslim Moro. natives of the islands which claim that a new ray could be added in their representation. So oh, wow. if all wishes are accommodated, the flag could end up with not nine but 11 rays. Wow. Other proposals ask for the addition of a fourth star to represent North Borneo, a territory claimed by the Philippines, but currently under Malaysian rule. And this addition would mean the changing of the triangle into a rectangle. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't think they should do that. I really do like the flag, how it looks currently right now. I think they should leave it. Can you guys see the Filipino flag being like this? Honestly, let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree that they should change it or they shouldn't change it. Because me right now, I don't think they should change it because this is what I have in my, like mentally like envisioned the Filipino flag and what I've seen. So I've no, known the Filipino flag to always have the triangle. I don't personally don't think they should change it because, you know, that's how it should be, right? Some even say that a crescent moon should be added to the flag, perhaps to represent the Muslim population in the country. Wow. So who knows, maybe the Philippine flag could eventually look like one of these. Like any other country, there are also administration flags, public office flags, military flags, and regional flags, each with their own significance and meaning, and references to the country's history and culture. So that is the flag wow. of the Philippines. Two red and blue lines with a white triangle, three golden stars, and a golden sun with eight rays. Thanks for watching the video. If you notice any mistake or have any Damn. additional information, make sure to let me know in the comments. Damn, okay. Well, I learned a lot just today, man. Honestly, I did not know most of that. I didn't know that the Philippine flag looked like, well, my friend told me that he did, but it was quite surprising. It's actually true. I don't know how true this video is. Like, don't take it with a grain of salt. This video could be true. This video could be not. But if they said this is on the official website, like the flag of the Philippines, then I am kind of leaning to the, more to the truth. I believe this is true. So how many of you guys actually knew all of this? Or how many of you guys are surprised, man? Let me know in the comments how many of you guys are actually surprised. And also, I want to know if they teach us in school because I'm quite surprised that my friend didn't know about this, okay? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, you guys made it all the end of the video. You guys know what to do, man. Give the video a big thumbs up. If you guys absolutely love the video, man, give, hit that subscribe button, turn that post notification bells on, and check me out on Instagram at it's Kevin for real. 
Also check me out on Facebook at It's Kevo Man. I'm doing my Facebook over there. And you know what? That's the end of the video. Hope you guys have a great day, man. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.